Yeah, thank you very much. I think uh, the first thing which I want to say that the Lutheran World Federation Council in 2013 has unanimously accepted the policy for gender justice in the LWF, which we hope that this gender justice, which is on the heart of the Lutheran communion, could be contextualized in the different context in which people are living. Why do we have such a gender justice? Our theological argument is very simple. God created man and woman on his image equally. And that is our first argument. We are equal, equally created by God. And secondly, our Lord Jesus Christ saved us equally on the cross. These two bases of our, you know, theological understanding are very essential. Certainly, some people are using culture, tradition, history, I mean, to justify a different argument. But frankly talking, if we look to the life of Jesus and how he dealt with the gender justice, it has to humble us, churches, people, cultures, nations, to understand that we have not done justice for gender justice. And it is time today to take it seriously and work where work everywhere in order that our world in the future will take gender justice as a normative issues which we want it to be taken everywhere. And that is the Lutheran World Federation. That's what the Lutheran churches in our communion want. And that's what is our prophetic voice in our secular world, in our world today that gender justice is a must which we want really to create awareness but not only to create awareness also create structures where gender justice is fully implemented.